Hello, welcome to the 2017 Specialist Accreditation Information Evening. I'm Deborah Scott. I'm coordinating the Specialist Accreditation Program this year. The first thing I want to say is that I'm really pleased to see so many people here tonight. Specialist Accreditation is a nationally recognised mark of excellence for lawyers. Um, and our first speaker tonight is the Chairman of our Board, Genevieve D. Genevieve is a partner at Cooper Grace Ward. She's an accredited specialist in family law as well as being the chair of the board. Genevieve, thank you. Well, um, good evening. And on behalf of the specialist board, I'd like to thank you for your interest in becoming an accredited specialist um, and your interest in the program for this year. Um, as Deborah said, my name is Genevieve D, and I'm the current chair of the Specialist Accreditation Board. Um, I've been on the board now for six years, so I'm counting down the days so that they put me out to pasture, and my retirement is looming. Um, so it's one of my last official things, really, is to welcome you to um, the program for this year. Um, this year, the Society is offering accreditation in four areas. Uh, there's family law, uh, property, succession, and tax is also available through the Law Institute of Victoria. Uh, there are currently over 500 accredited specialists in Queensland and I, I know that while that might sound like a big number when we look around the room tonight, um, when you appreciate that there's more than 10,000 practitioners around the state, uh, you'll agree it's a pretty elite group of practitioners. The limited number of specialists around the state, including some who actually hold dual accreditation, speaks to the rigorousness of the assessment process, which you've probably all heard a little bit about. And once you've attempted to undertake the program, um, I think you'll then appreciate just how significant it, is, significant it is to actually be able to say you've got dual accreditation. Uh, you may have heard about the course already. It is challenging, um, but it's intended to be. Um, not only must you have extensive experience in your chosen area of specialty, um, you will also successfully complete an advanced peer-reviewed assessment program specific to your area of specialty. Um, if you meet these standard for accreditation. Um, you'll then be able to advertise that accreditation to your peers and to the general public and they in turn are likely to expect a higher standard of knowledge and practice from you. Now the accreditation program was established for two main reasons. Um, first to provide practitioners with an opportunity to formally recognise their experience in their chosen area of law and secondly to provide guidance to your peers and to the public um, about those practitioners in our practice who have a specialised standard of expertise in a particular area of law. The program, as Deborah said, is nationally recognised as setting a benchmark for specialist expertise and it's not intended for early career practitioners who are still developing their skills in a particular chosen area of law. The assessment process is challenging, as I've mentioned, but will offer you a number of personal and professional benefits, um, including um, firstly enabling you to advertise your expertise to, public, to the general public and to your peers. Um, accreditation can assist you to build your practice through referrals, again, from within the society and through your peers and general public. And accredited specialists are often the first port of call for the Law Society when they're planning their seminars and events um, and conferences. And being able to be involved in those events will help to grow your brand and distinguish you from your peers. In addition, in the year you sit your accreditation program, if you complete all three areas of assessment, uh, pass or fail, you'll be able to claim all 10 points for your CPD efforts in the year, including your ethics point. Yes. Yes. Um, and finally, the qualification is yours, which means it's entirely portable with you. It doesn't belong to your firm, um, which means if you look for new challenges, you set up your own firm or you change firms or employers, um, the expertise and knowledge you advertise and accredits as an accredited specialist transfers with you. So in summary, on behalf of the board, I thank you for your interest in the program and I wish you the very best of luck completing the assessment this year. Um, I encourage you to ask as many questions as possible of the experienced practitioners you have in your panel sessions later this evening so that by the end of today you have a thorough understanding of what the assessment process will look like and you can make an assessment about whether or not the program is for you this year. So thank you again for your interest. Um, I look forward to welcoming you and celebrating your achievements at the end of year graduation in December and I wish you the best of luck.